Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now.
I should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! journalist and I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared and and I wanted to cover the story but then I saw what you were going through to save your son and and I understood how much you love him I wanted to tell you the truth but I couldn't I was afraid that you that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so... Sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. I, um, I think I'm starting to fall in love. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. For Ethan. It looks like a raid. There must be some way of warning Ethan. Think, girl, think. Come on, what was the damn number? Cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here.
behind your head. Easy pal. Nowhere to go. It's around. Holy I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good.
I was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Oh, lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! <laughs> oh! 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 You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No! No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance. I don't know. I swear! I don't know anything! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy... Gordy always wanted his fun, you know? He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. Just street trash, like so many others. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. What about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. 
I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother... His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Yeah. Fucking bastard. Let him die. Shelby! Come back! I fucking order you! Come back! John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Hello, I'm looking for Ann Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. <coughs> Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her. You know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. <coughs> room 19. Where is that? Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. 
John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Gotta find something else to show her. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son, my little Johnny. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember.
Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No. There's nothing, really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Show her things that take her back. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. his name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. The last origami figure. The last trial.
The cameras. He must be watching me. Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this, and then no one can save Sean. Am I willing to die to save my son? There's no choice. I've got to do it. If I want to save my son. Nothing to lose. I've come too far to stop now. did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir.
Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise you.
gonna find someone. The water's still rising. John won't be able to hang on for long. We need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. This place is completely deserted. There's no one around to help. Mom's work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. Hold on, bro. I'll find someone. Then we'll come back and save you. Dad, I've got to get... Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he found your pot. Oh, He's God, coming. You get a little pet. Leave me alone. Just come, Dad. Come on, John's going to die. John's going to die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's going to die. John's going to die, Dad. What did I tell you? Scrap. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. Don't. Don't forget about this guy.
lost your touch, girl. The Origami Killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Gotta be fast. He could come back any time. I'll go through it, room by room. There's bound to be some kind of clue. Exactly how an investigation would be carried out. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Shelby could come back at any moment. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well. Oh, shit, it needs a password. So you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, there's no time to lose.
point in trying to get out the window. The jump would kill me. There's got to be a way out of the apartment. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy, Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. Mom and Jaden. My name is Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Have you got all that? Wait, I know of this already. I'm on my way to the warehouse. I gotta go. Stop! Stop! 
I hope it's not too late. The poison's gonna kill me in a few minutes. I I've gotta find Sean fast. Sean's done for if I've got the address wrong. Sean! Where's Sean? I've been looking for her long. Long time, Ethan. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then, I remembered you. All those murders, just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Sniper's in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami Ash, killer. what is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. 
Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I... I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not dead. To my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Yeah! Hey, what are you doing? I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look, we'll all go out together. With, with our hands in the air and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son.
general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. Today's World Magazine this week, and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer, and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. <laughs>
You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. I want to see them again. I'm a father too.